Good day everyone. Today's presentation is on ETAP GIS and mainly on how to utilize ETAP GIS to better design, analyze, and expand transmission and distribution networks. GIS data sources, the main data sources for ETAP GIS is going to be S3 Arc GIS, uh, CIM, which is a common data model language for information exchange in electrical utility industry. Uh, it also supports IEC 61970 and IEC 61968 standard. MultiSpeak, which is a specification or standard that defines a standardized interface between software applications used by rural electrical utilities or co-ops and also Excel as well as KML data formats. How the intelligent data mapping works is um, you have the various sources on the left hand side. There's a universal mapping tool that is the bridge to take the, the, the data from the source whether it's uh, CIM, MultiSpeak or um, Excel, uh, S3GIS. It'll go through a universal mapping utility and then ETAP will generate both the electrical, uh, the geospatial view, as well as the substation view and the network view that I showed earlier. More importantly, incremental data updates, uh, which are essentially, you are able to schedule updates to stay up to date with the GIS database. The workflow is um, the GIS database is the universal repository of all the information, not just electrical, but also water, gas, and many other disciplines. And essentially, as the GIS uh, team updates the electrical information and all the information, then ETAP automatically uh, connects to the GIS database and performs incre incremental data updates. So in this way, your uh, ETAP model always remains up to date with the GIS database. Thank you everyone for attending this presentation.